Now comes to the concept called as the circular linked list. Circular linked list is a variation of a linked list in which element first points to the last element and the last element points to the first element. So it moves in a particular circular pattern. Both single linked list and double linked list, that is singly linked list and doubly linked list, can be made as a circular linked list. Let's have a focus on a singly linked list as circular. So this is a diagram for representing the same. In singly linked list, the next pointer of the last node points to the first node, which means that this comes to a picture scenario of a circular linked list. If we focus for the next thing for doubly linked list as circular, in doubly linked list, the next pointer of the last node points next pointer of the last node points to the first node okay so next pointer of the last node points to the first node and the previous pointer of the first node points to the last node so in this way the last links next point to the first link of the list in both the cases of singly as well as doubly linked list so the basic operations over here when it comes to circular linked list involves insert which actually means inserting a particular element at the list, delete for deleting an element from the list, and display to display the particular list. Now let's go to our code base where we'll create an HTML file and the JavaScript implementation for the same for circular linked list. And later we'll have a look like how we get the output, like how the list is being displayed when it comes to JavaScript in the manner for circular linked list. So in our code base, let's create an HTML file and save it inside linked list and save the file as circular linked list dot HTML. Now I'll create a doc type for the same. So let's start creating with the doc type. So that would be doc type HTML. Now inside this I will specify the HTML tag and then I will call for the head tag. Head tag will have meta char set as UTF-8. After this I will specify the title and the title will have a title as circular link list. And now I'll call for the body tag. So my body tag will be after the head tag. So I'll say body and the body tag will have script src equals circular link list. So this file we need to create it link list.js. So we'll create this particular file. Before that, I would like to even mention the h2 tag, mentioning that this is the demonstration, demonstration for circular link list. Okay, so the demonstration is implemented. Now we'll create a file with this particular name. So I'll just copy this name and create a new file and save it inside linked list as circular linked list.js. Now I'll create a linked list the similar way we created in our previous chapters as function ll list. So it is a linked list. Here I'll initialize all my parameters. So first comes is the head. So this dot head equals new node. And the node will have the parameter as head. After this comes the parameter that is next tag. So I'll say this dot next equals this dot head. And this dot find equals find. After that comes the insert tag. So I'll say this dot insert equals insert and then this dot display as display 
After this comes the next thing is find previous, which is a logic in connection with double linked list. So I'll say this dot find previous find previous equals find previous function. And after that comes the remove function for deleting a particular node from the linked list. So that will be inside the remove functionality. So I have initialized all the values inside my constructor. Now the next thing is to create a node. So my node will be created as function node element. Inside this, I would say this dot element equals element comma next part is this dot next will be given as null after this i would also say the previous section so if i say this dot previous will also will be null but for now we are just truncating this particular part because we are focusing on single bay circular linked list now the next functionality is for item so i will say function find the item so that is fine i'll take the parameter as item inside that i will specify where current node equals this dot head and after that comes the while loop so that is while current node dot element if it is not equal to item if my current node element is not equal to the specified item then i will get the value as current node equals the next item value will be captured over here dot next so this was for the find next would be after find is the insert thing so insert will be function insert it will also insert a new element so it will be like in this particular format new element comma item inside this i will specify where new node equals new node and the value will be taken as the new element and after that i'll call for current variables that is where current equals this dot find item so it will call for the item once we get the particular item it will insert it in my next node so i'll say new node dot next equals current dot next so the current node will have the new node and the new node will be connected to the upcoming node. So I'll specify over here as current dot next equals new node. So I completed with the insert functionality. After that comes the previous functionality to get the previous thing. So for that I'll say function find previous and there I will call for item node, which will call for the function that is where current node equals this dot head. And it will call for a while loop which says while checks for the condition if current node dot next next equals null then in this condition it will say current node equals the current node dot next element if the condition is not satisfied then it will get for this value after this comes the next thing is to show the element so that is done with the help of a display function so that is function dot display and there I will specify the values that is where current node equals this dot head. After that it would be while not equal to current node 
dot next is equals to the null parameter the way we did over here null parameter the same thing will be continued over here then comes the next logic is ampersand ampersand i'll say current node dot next dot element equal to equal to head then in such a scenario you should print console dot log as current node dot next dot element and after that the current node will be printed over here so it will be current node equals current node dot next so after printing up these values the next is to create a variable so my variable will be var cities equal to new list and the list will be printed over here then i'll have cities dot insert Conway. So this would be my first city. Then comes head. After that, cities dot insert result v. This is another value, and it will be connected to Conway. This comes to our next tag in that way. And now the next will be cities dot insert. The values are. other city names and it will be connected to the previous one so connection should be proper because it is the complete logic associated to linked list and after this comes the next is cities dot insert alma connecting to this one best is to copy paste the values which we are connecting so that there will be no issue further so this connection we are maintaining with the help of linked list now i'll call for the properties that is cities dot display and i'll also say to print my city so i'll just print in this particular manner so this will give you the linked list overview so now let's go to our browser and check how the particular linked list is being displayed So if you check for the browser so this is your circular linked list so my demonstration for circular linked list is visible over here here all the values are particularly given so in this way conway is connected to the city and then comes carles and then alma and alma is further connected to conway so this gives a creation with respect to our circular linked list if you check out for our linked list it has the display functionality and many more and all these functionalities whichever we created right now and if you check for each and every value over here there is nothing pointing to null so circular linked list is like it will never end it will have the first as well as the end tag connected to each other and that is why it is called as the most important kind of a structure that is the circular linked list when it comes to data structure perspective of linked list so this was the implementation of circular linked list in javascript now in the next chapter we will be understanding about dictionaries which is the totally new kind of a data structure which is maintaining a key value pair of data values and there we will analyze each and every value like how a dictionary is maintained and how implementation of dictionaries with respect to javascript is very easy because javascript has a object notation type that is json javascript object notation which maintains a key value pair which is nothing but an object so this helps to maintain the key value pair in a more easy way Let's move on to our next chapter which is a focus about understanding for circular linked lists.